The first point of interest is this fish just entering the 50 kilohertz wide cone here. You'll see him just starting to appear on the sonar on the right hand side on your 2D sonar. But you won't see him in the down scan yet because he hasn't actually entered that beam yet. The next fish we're talking about is the one on the opposite side that is just entering the 50 kilohertz beam. You won't see the tail of the echo because it's hiding behind the first fish. Only now will you start to see it appear in the 2D sonar view. But you'll also now start to see the first fish in the same view but now past the top of the arch because he's past the center of the cone. And that same fish has now appeared in the down scan because he's just past the down scan beam. This next fish we're talking about now, you will never even know it was there because you won't see it on the sonar. The reason being, he's so far out from the center of the cone in the 50 kilohertz range is that it's actually made him further away from the transducer than the actual bottom. And therefore, he'll actually be hidden in the bottom itself. This fourth fish to enter our coverage area is also just in the outer edge of the 50 kilohertz and is a very weak signal in our 2D sonar. But the second fish that passed through our beam is now very strong on both 2D and downscan. The reason for this is that it passed through the center part of our cone, giving a very strong return. The last fish we're looking at is our first fish, just getting to the weaker edge of our coverage area as we move on and we move away from these four fish of which only three are visible on our sonar.